everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Janice. If you're new here, hi, how are you? I thought it was about time to do another haul video. I've been going shopping and yet to really share with you some of the things that I thought were kind of unique and fun to buy, purchase, and use. If you're interested to see what I received from, see this haul I've got, I went to Dollar Tree in Big Lots. So if you want to see what I got, just keep watching. Well, I didn't get her. We've, I've had her. <laughs> this is Hazel May. Have her make a quick appearance before I got on the hall. For those who haven't seen her before, she's my Pomeranian, she's eight years old. All right, this is about my haul. First thing, I'm gonna show you what I got from Big Lots. First thing I got is this t-shirt. And I am a Beatle lover. I fell in love with the Beatles as soon as they came out. And came over to America on the Ed Sullivan Show. I was 14 and I was addicted. And I bought everything about them, all their magazines, their little paraphernalia, everything. I knew everything from their birthdays, everything back then. I remember some of it still, but I still remember, I still am a big fan of them. So when I see the Beatles t-shirt for only $8 at Big Lots, I had to get it. I didn't buy a whole lot, but just a few things I wanted. I've been trying to organize my house whole entire house from makeup to crafts you name it kitchen and I saw this little um, drawer thing there's three drawers and that's really handy for a little small trinkets either my crafts or my makeup I have another one of these and I really like it because it's small it's just nice for small little things I also bought a label maker, but I, my husband got that for me at Walmart, and that's not in this haul. And I've been labeling all these little organizers. So I still get labeled whatever I decide to put in yet. I haven't decided. See here, it's got, it's in my way, <laughs> low drawers. Just, you know, it would cost $4.95 at um, Big Lots. So, you can buy them at other stores too, I've seen them, but that was cute. Just a little handy thing to have. I'm playing with the door handles, they're cute. And I love these boxes. I have a few, but I, I love Paris and I thought this was gorgeous. A nice size medium box for some more storage. Open. I had bought another one a few weeks ago. It, Dollar General, I believe it was. And that's all flowers, but I want another one because I've got it full already. These get full quick. And last but not least, maybe this here. I thought this was adorable. They had, oh my gosh, an aisles and aisles of summer outdoor items. And I wanted it all. But I've seen this, and this is a solar light for outside near my garden and it's a water spigot a little froggy down here and it has some lights here that kind of trickle down through the lily pads it's one of those solar powered lights and this will show up you can probably imagine how that would look cute all lit up and look like water going down here and this little Information card. Let's see what it says here. This was thirty dollars, by the way, and I thought, oh, that's not expensive. But big lots are known for very inexpensive items, but uh, I, I had to have it. Let me just give you a direct solar light manual. How your solar light works. Daytime solar panel absorbs and converts sunlight to energy, charging the battery. At night, light 
turns on automatically using the stored energy absorbing during the day. Where to put your solar light? Choose an outdoor location with full direct sunlight. So the solar panel will receive at least six to eight hours each day. So I plan on putting it outside my back door. So when people come in my side door, they will see it. It'd be pretty. I am so anxious for spring. Spring is right around the corner. Today is the first day of daylight savings time here in Michigan. And our snow is melting. I love winter and I love the snow, but I'm over it. It's the point to where now it's not pretty anymore. So now we've had beautiful sunny days. So I've got the spring cleaning bug. I've been cleaning my house and I want to get outside there and break up everything and clean out my flower beds. I want to tear beds apart and redo them. I have tons of projects to do and I just can't wait. So that was my first purchase for this year. All right, that is Big Lots Hall. Next is Dollar Tree. I have discovered these glasses. I love them. They've got the handle on. It looks like a mason jar. And I have a few of these, so I decided to buy a few more. <laughs> you should see my cupboard. It has tons of glasses. I don't know what's wrong with that. I collect dishes. And I have three. The reason why I have three because I accidentally chipped one. So I got an odd number to replace that and then two more. So I should have a set of six, I believe, now, which is a nice number. Oh, yeah. Easter's. Oh, yeah. I think they're sleeping. This is an Easter bunny for my babies. Yeah. It's a little bunny rabbit. And I get these for my doggies because they're safe. There's no buttons or anything. And the ones that play with it, they don't destroy it anymore. My big one, she doesn't destroy toys anymore. She's gotten old and lazy. Thank goodness. I mean, not perhaps she's gotten old and lazy, but she doesn't destroy toys. So I got that. Look at the little cocktail. Thank you. I love bunnies. That. Yeah. Um, some craft clamps for some of my projects. Clamps to hold down my projects when I work on them. My sister's got a few of these. She does junk journals and she has a YouTube channel showing you how to do them. And she uses these to clamp down the edges when the glue is drying. And I want to start doing that. So I got a few of these. That's in the craft section. They got a really nice craft section. And getting my granddaughter some stuff for Easter. I thought this is a cute little Easter basket bag. It's quite large. Cardboard here. But really cute. And for my older girls. A couple little extra bags for candy in. Anything else in here? Oh yeah, one more. Oh yes, this is for my granddaughter. So I got her a hand sanitizer to put on her hers or her belt loop or whatever, or whatever she wants. She likes to wear those lanyards, but I don't know if she would. That's kind of big. But anyway, I got it for. And I've already picked up a couple of things for um, at another store to put in that Easter basket. And last but not least, I got one more bag. More Easter things. I'm gonna, I'm not sure if I'm just gonna leave this plain, hang outside my door or make a wreath. It really depends on the time. I love making wreaths. So I got this. So either way, it's gonna be cute. I would've bought more, more Easter things, but I have bought them throughout the years and I've got enough. And some stickers. Aren't those cute? And of course they're doggies. And if you know me and been watching me, you know I'm a dog groomer and I love pets. And these are dog people are good people. That is so true. And some more stickers for uh, I had some ideas for this. Crafting or apart from my grooming room, I'm gonna do a little signage 
out there and I thought these were cute. I'm not quite sure what I had in mind. I don't know. I've got it. I'll figure it out. So that is it. That is my um, really little haul. But I just want to pop on here real quick and just say, hey, hi everyone. How you doing? I've got some videos I've filmed. I'm yet to get them finished editing. So I'm going to do something short just to pop on here and say, hey, I'm still here. Just time is gets away from me. So I need to upload those. Get them edited and get them uploaded so you know what I've been up to. All right. So that is my haul. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And if you like me, that is. Don't subscribe if you're not going to like me and not watch me. But subscribe. And I also like this video. Do you like haul videos? I like doing them. I forget to do them, but I like doing them. If you want to see more, I, I, you know, we all shop every, weekly almost. Not as much as I used to, but I have the vaccines now, so I'll, I mean, too, it's nice getting nice weather, not just because of that. I'll probably get out a little bit more. Depends. But do some more hauls. Oh, comment. Comment. Want to say, just say hi. Just say hello, Janice. Glad to see you. Uh, or, or you can comment on the video. That's okay, too. Also share this video. I really appreciate that. Alright. I'm gonna say goodbye now. Bye. See you in my next video. Okay, I'm going outside. Our snow is melting. And I see that the pool house door is wide open. We store things in there and make sure no one's gotten in there and taken anything. Hopefully not. Oh, it's just the wind. It's been windy. Man, we had some wind. Look at the... Well, we had bad snowstorm, ice storm. So look at all the branches down. A lot of, a lot of spring clean up here. Oh, leftover garden. I'm going to pick that up this year. Oh, wow. Cabbage. Uh-oh. I wore... Oh, my gosh. I wore my... I wore my shoes. I my boots. Oh, well. Just snow. Crunchy snow. Here is the pool house. Of course, this pool house we don't use. There's no pool. The owners before I just tore it out. So this pool house is kind of a shed now. Aha! Okay, there it is. Still here. Ah, oh, husband's no more. Yeah, everything is here. We need to get locked to this. Yeah. Look, look at that nice. This was nice at one time. This nice big huge fireplace. You probably can't see very well because the sun is starting to go down and all the electricity has been cut out of here. But this is a sauna room. There's a sauna seat. You probably can't see it. Yeah, this, you know, if I, if I come in with some money, maybe I'll fix this up. Uh-oh. Wind took, took down that plastic. You know, it is March and it's been windy. But okay, I just wanted to check this out and take you with me. Back to the house. Oh, my goodness. Well, no wonder. It's warped. Okay. To have my husband come out tomorrow and fix that. Here's the back of my house. Here's my subdivision. This is a great find years ago I got so many grapes I did lots of jam last year they didn't do so good we had a lot of gypsy moths that destroyed our leaves and our trees there's a birch tree and they ate all the foliage from the trees and bushes they were just destructive this last year this year they're gonna spray for them so hopefully they won't do that we had a really hard winter so we may not have them back and we did kill what were on our property um, just good old Dawn does it in water. Believe it or not, good old Dawn. Here it is. Yeah, this could be all clean and look pretty in the spring. This grass will come back. Whew. Garage. Here is my room. It's like a um, rec room. I use it now for my grooming room, kitchen, and front door to the house. Hey, here's a dog is waiting for me. What the heck, Mom? What are you doing? Say hi. Say hello. 
You guys need to get closer and we can see you. Oh, oh. All right. Okay. <laughs> Just did a haul, so my bags are still on the floor. 